The build process was basically three steps. I first 3D printed it, then I put it together, and then painted it with acrylic modeling paint. I noticed while painting it that I probably should have painted parts first and then stuck them together, so I recommend you do it that way if you're following along. The longest step was obviously 3D printing it, because that's how 3D printing works, but that's, that's the step that took probably the least amount of time, because all you had to do was press like three buttons and just wait. The step that took the longest amount of time was painting, so if you're going into this just keep in mind that you'll take a, it'll take a while to paint. The first step is obviously to 3D print the lightsaber. I got the file for this lightsaber from case study number 8 on Thingiverse. I'll leave a link to the page in the description of this video for you to check out. Big shout out to that person. He's also got the file for Revan's purple lightsaber, which I'll be making a video on soon. I laid out the print in CUDA like this and set it going. It took about 11 hours or so to print and after that the print was done so I took the parts off the printer and got ready to piece them together. Putting the pieces together was quite easy. The model came with these little pegs so all I really had to do was to put some super glue into the hole and stick them together. Notice here though that I placed the buttons at a 90 degree angle from each other. Don't do this, they're meant to be on the opposite sides from each other. I looked at a bad reference image while building it, so avoid the mistake I made and just place them on the opposite sides. I checked it in the game, it's how it's meant to be. Now that we've got the lightsaber as a whole, we can start painting. Again, I really do recommend painting the lightsaber before assembly, but here we are. You live and you learn, I guess. This little part here wouldn't fit into the lightsaber since my printer made the peg slightly too big for the hole, so I painted it separately. The lightsaber needs to be silver, but since my printer filament is white, I don't think I could have just put silver onto it, the lightsaber might have come out way too light, so I first gave it an undercoat of gunmetal grey, which I then painted over with the silver color. I have no idea if this actually does anything to the color, but I really do like the color the lightsaber is right now. If you know what you're talking about, please let me know in the comment section if I could have done it better or this is just a waste of paint or something. When it came to painting the whole lightsaber, I decided to paint the buttons first, since if I got any of the color on the hilt, I could just go over it with a silver. One of the trickiest parts was probably this copper colored section here though. I kept messing up and having to go over both the silver and the copper multiple times. Again, I really recommend recommend taking the stuff and printing them separately. I really wish I would have done the copper and the buttons separately and then just stuck them onto the silver lightsaber, because then none of the paint would have had a chance to transfer. Also, 90 degree angle, I couldn't leave it like that. You guys are gonna kill me in the comment section if I leave it like that. So what I did was I just kind of ripped it apart because all I had done was like, they're just super glued together. So I just kind of shimmied it off, but it also snapped the peg inside, obviously. So I just super glued it back together at like the proper angle. It's made the lightsaber slightly wonky, but I don't know if that matters too much. But it, 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 is, it is worth it for the buttons to be on the opposite sides. <laughs> And I think it went really well. I am so happy with the finished product and I think it'll go incredibly with all my other Revan cosplay stuff. So please look out for those videos in the future.